Welcome back everyone. The first week of the year is now behind us, and 2024 has so far been extremely cold. It's a constant struggle to keep the cold at bay, and to be honest, I think the only time I'm truly feeling warm is when I'm out and about skiing. It's funny how I can feel so much warmer outside than by a cozy fire. I guess I should never underestimate a good workout. The cold also comes with a few problems, like every time I have to powder my nose. Every time I have to go to the bathroom, I have to put on a lot of clothes. I don't have a toilet in the house, I only have an outhouse, so I have to go out into the cold. Oh my god, my drone just crashed. I had battery, but I guess it's just so cold that it just couldn't fly. In the air it was just immediately low battery, critical low battery, critical low battery. And then it just poof. But it had battery. I ah, and this now down on the ice somewhere. I have no idea where. I don't know how I will find this thing. I'm literally looking for a needle in a haystack. I have absolutely no idea where I'm supposed to look. I mean, yeah, I was flying towards the mountains there, so it's somewhere towards the mountains, but somewhere in this snow, I have no idea. Oh my God, I'm gonna panic. I cannot afford to buy a new drone. Oh, oh my God, I think I found it. Yes, oh my God. Oh my God, oh, Jesus Christ, oh, God, oh, I thought I had lost it forever, oh, Jesus Christ, I found it, I'm so grateful. For a moment there, I thought I would never find it. And I was all the way out there and I was like started to sink through the snow. The snow started to melt on the ice, even though it's cold, blah, blah, blah. Oh, so I'm all wet from my waist down to my feet from looking for the drone. But I found it. Oh. Oh. But far from everything is trouble. The extreme cold also brings with it enormous beauty. These winter landscapes fills my soul with so much joy and peace, and they make those hard things disappear in comparison. And with that said, let's get this video started. Hi everyone, and welcome to the first video of the year. Can you believe it? It's already 2024. Maybe I should sit down a little bit, catch my breath. Ah, it's hard walking in the forest now with all the snow pulsing through. Oh, it's so extremely cold right now. Just setting up the camera, my hands are freezing. But this is nothing compared to it is just a little bit further up north. They have had minus 44 degrees Celsius. One part of me, the adventurous part of me, wants that to come down here to experience how that is like. 
but another part of me really really hope it doesn't because I don't think I could stay in the house if that happens I think I would have to leave this place uh, I wouldn't be able to survive up here in that cold but can you guys imagine that is a new year 2023 is behind us and it's now 2024 time really does fly by and the last part of 2023 I was actually down in Stockholm I went down there to celebrate my grandma's 85th birthday and that was so wonderful because the last few years my grandma has been battling cancer so to see her and be with her when she turned 85 meant everything it was a time we all thought she wouldn't get to this point and some of you that has been on my channel from the beginning might remember a video where I talked about her being sick and I haven't really talked more about it since then and I think that's almost two years ago now and I guess I haven't talked about it because I haven't wanted to jinx anything and I still don't want to jinx anything so what I can share with you is that it seems like everything is going in the right direction I don't think everything will be 100% fine again but it is going in the right direction and that's why I could celebrate her 85th birthday with the whole family and then I also stayed there in Stockholm to celebrate Christmas with her and on Christmas Eve I actually sat down with her and played the piano again for the first time in years and that moment uh, I burst out in tears because my relationship with my grandma has been so centered with playing piano playing piano together with her she is the one who taught me to play the piano so to play with her again after years of her being sick it meant absolutely everything and hopefully it's not the last moment we will be able to play more piano soon again I really really hope that but instead of me just talking about the end of 2023 I think I'm gonna show you how it was like because it's starting to get really cold now and I need to head back uh, but I didn't film a lot when I was down there I kind of decided to take a vacation but I want to show you the clips that I did film so let's take a look back <laughs> Jag menar bara att jag skriver över dig. Du fick alltså en sån här till två lakus. Ja. Det fick jag också. Oj. Men jag kan absolut äh, gå ner lite. Kanske kort på några tag i det här. Han lappar nog ut i julen. Nu är det ju blivit. Nu är det ju blivit. Han vet ju aldrig med den här tomten. 
Ja, på. Vad är det för något då? Ja, det, är, det, är, det är något som har lurit tomt i år tror jag. Det kan vara ett par strumpor. Så kul. Ja. Är det någonting du vill säga? Får säga hej? Uh, hello! Uh, I am uh, Daniels grandmother and I hope you a very nice Christmas and a happy new year. Goodbye! Mm. <laughs> Thank you! Hello! grandma playing the piano again. I cannot say it enough. It warmed my heart beyond comprehension. When she got sick, the doctors basically said this was something she would die from. But here she is, playing piano once again. And the doctors are calling her a miracle. So, if anyone who works in the Swedish universal health care is watching, I want to reach out to you and give you an enormous thank you. Thank you for all the hard work you do. We still don't know where grandma will be even a year from now. But right now, she's here, playing piano with us again. And that's more than I ever thought would happen. After our Christmas celebration, I went back home to all the snow again. While I was away celebrating Christmas, all the snow, or at least most of the snow from the roof, fell down here, uh, which is a good thing, because then it's less pressure on the roof. But it makes it way harder to get indoors. So I had to... Uh, shovel all of this now to really make the stairs walkable again. So the stairs are done, so now I can finally go to the nearby village because I have some packages to pick up. One of them is uh, a Christmas gift um, from, I guess like from uh, one of my grandmas. She gave me money for Christmas and uh, I spent that money on a lot of chocolate. <laughs> so it has now arrived. <laughs> And I'm gonna go pick it up. It's gonna be quite a lot. <laughs> chocolate is one of the best things I know. Uh, but finding vegan chocolate is so expensive. Like it's definitely out there on the market, but it's just so expensive and I usually can't afford it. But now when I got this money from grandma, I felt like I really wanted to treat myself instead of just like buying something I need or paying off bills or whatever. I wanted to treat myself. So I got this chocolate. And I'm so excited to go get it. Now when it's winter, I drive extra carefully. Almost every time I'm driving, there's animals on the roads. And braking takes forever in these conditions. That is 
if there's one thing I missed since going vegan, it's chocolate. And like I said, it's not like there's no vegan chocolate out there. It is really, really good ones, but they are just so expensive. So it's so rare that I get to buy <laughs> some. But what I've done now is that I went on a website, website that sells food that is about to expire. I don't know how it is in your country, but in Sweden, uh, expiration dates are not the same as eat before. Expiration dates here just means that uh, the, the manufacturer can't guarantee that the taste and texture will be as intended after that date. But if it is uh, do not eat after, then it means it's dangerous to eat it. Uh, then you can get sick. But a lot of people seem to not really know this uh, because a lot of people don't want to buy or eat food that has expired, even though it's perfectly fine. So this website uh, sells food that is about to expire that a lot of people don't usually would buy. Because of that, it's a way cheaper price. So usually one chocolate bar of these cost five dollars, maybe even six now with inflation. And now I got, got them for one and a half dollar each. Ah, let's open it. Chocolate, chocolate, chocolate. I mean, look, there's chocolate everywhere. Ta-da! Oh my God, I'm so happy. <laughs> and this package is actually from a very kind viewer who um, uh, saw my house tour uh, and me talking about hard drives uh, since 4K videos take up a lot of space. So he was kind enough to reach out to me uh, and asked if I wanted some hard drives. He had some that he was never using. So thank you so much for sending this to me. It's so, so nice of you. I don't know what to say. Uh, it will definitely come in handy. What? Oh, so <laughs> even more chocolate. Oh my god, he sent some vegan candy as well! Oh, I'm gonna cry! What? This is so sweet! The hard rice and then candy. Oh, oh and it's flavors that I didn't get. Oh, that's awesome! And there's so much in here that is not on the Swedish market. So many vegan things I've never tried. Oh, I'm so excited. Oh, it's like a notebook. Oh my God, I love this. So here I can write down what I wanna say. Like if I have a Q&A or something, I can write down the questions here. Thank you so, so, so much. I'm overwhelmed with your kindness. Uh, thank you from the bottom of my heart. So if I take one chocolate bar every week, this is gonna last for the entire year. At least that's the idea. But I have a sweet tooth, so we'll see. In the third package, there was some yarn I had ordered. 
since it's so cold now, I need more socks. So I thought I would try to learn how to make my very own. If you know how to knit, you probably see me making lots of mistakes. But I'm having fun learning, and that's what counts. While I was sitting in my chair knitting, New Year's Eve was coming closer and closer. And so were my parents, who decided to celebrate up here in the north. Okay, I feel like I'm taking an ice dip in every single video lately, and you are probably getting sick of it. But I got a Christmas present that I want to try out. So I wanted to uh, show you guys how this works, if I can figure it out myself. I got a saw for the eyes. So with this huge thing, I am supposed to be able to get in the water much faster with way less work. For you who saw my last video, <laughs> we used horrible tools to get through the ice. Are you stuck? <laughs> I'm not even holding it. <laughs> So hopefully it will now be easier. And to show you how big this thing is, put it like this. It's taller than I am. And I am kind of tall. I'm 1.85 meters. So yeah, this thing is huge. Hopefully it will be very easy to get through the ice. These little I don't know what you call them, but these things are super super sharp. Like I can barely touch them. That's how sharp they are. Wonder om den här klarar av det. Ja, det är tror inte jag. Alltså du måste ju hacka rakt ner antar jag. Har vi något annat annars? Ja, jag har ju Du tog med den, ja. Så den är ju lite för lös för det kanske. Det är bara så himla Det är mycket kvar. Nu! Nu! Åh! Oh. Det är ju bra. Och så hoppar vi. We intended to do all of this. But that was way too much work. But we actually got through eventually. And we have about half of what we in initially intended. Oh, it's a great job! I don't know if I'm going to get it there. Fuck a little bit. Do it here in. By the way, the ice was 70 centimeters oh. thick. That's insane. Having dad here is always good. That means I can put him to work, helping me out with different things around the house. Here, we're trying to make less cold air come up through the floor. Eventually, New Year's Eve was here. We had a very small celebration, basically just having dinner and then a light outside. Allt jävlar. Vi måste ju ha någon klocka. Oj, den är 59! Ja, den är det. Ja, den är det. Ja, det är för att skicka dig där. Oj, oj, gott nytt år! Nej! Jo, gott nytt år! Gott nytt år! Gott nytt år! Gott nytt år! Oj, du kunde inte ens räkna ner. And in a small village like this, 
don't expect any fireworks. I'm out skiing again. It's becoming one of my favorite activities to do during winter. It's, it's so much fun. It's such a good exercise and you get out uh, getting to see more of the forest even though it's a lot of snow. Rather thanks because it's a lot of snow. So when it's hard to walk you can always take the skis. But I think I need to valla dem. I don't know what that is in English. Like make it stick in the snow more because I keep I keep going down like like going backwards. And that's not not fun at all. So I will ask my dad if he can teach me how to do that because I've never done it myself. He knows how to, so hopefully he can give me a little lesson. I haven't vallad these skis since the beginning of this season, so it's definitely time now. Oh, time to move again! And oh, have we been out skiing. It's just so much fun. We've been skiing right outside the house, on pre-made tracks, above the village, in wonderful slopes, and deep in the virgin forest. And on top of all of this, we've even been out skiing in the middle of the night, with only the stars and our headlights as a source of light. Imagine seeing some glowing eyes looking back at you deep in the forest. So, if you live somewhere with snow and have never tried skiing, I highly recommend it. It's such a wonderful way to experience nature. It's super, super cold here in north of Sweden right now. Some places have had minus 53 degrees Celsius. That is just utterly insane. I don't think I've ever heard of a place being that cold, at least not here in Sweden. Um, I haven't had that cold, but I've still had very very cold uh, so uh, this has been a real exciting experience also a very very cold experience <laughs> like i mean indoors it's been so cold indoors it's been a full-time job just trying to uh, keep the house warm but i think this is the end of the first video of the year. I think it was such a beautiful sky, so I wanted to end the video with this wonderful, wonderful view. 
the sun is going down, so I don't know if the camera might be underexposed right now. But I hope you can see how beautiful it is. And thank you so much for once again joining me and watching this video. I hope all of you will have an amazing year, an amazing 2024. And I just, I hope that life is kind to all of us. The last few years have been really, really bad, generally speaking. Um, with wars and uh, all of that. So I just, I really hope that 2024 can be a better year for all of us. I hope to see you soon again. Bye!